We're putting a special spotlight on gun violence in America here at ABC News across all platforms today. It, this all happens in the wake of what we saw in Uvalde, and the police there are facing mounting criticism over the response to that school shooting that left 19 kids and two teachers dead. One teacher, Robach, I was there with you when you got word yesterday that you were going to be doing this interview with the teacher that was in there, and just knowing you were going to get the interview, your heart kind of dropped because you couldn't imagine what he was going to tell you. Yes, this is a, a teacher. He's been a teacher for 17 right. years. His sole goal was to, to help make these children into better, stronger, more educated right. kids, and, and he was not equipped to handle what happened in his classroom. You know, the, the class was enjoying. This was the last week of school, and then suddenly they faced the worst nightmare you could imagine. I just want to warn our viewers, it is, it is extremely difficult to hear him tell what happened in that classroom. And I said, if I die, don't let it be in vain. Arnulfo Reyes, the fourth grade teacher in room 111 at Robb Elementary School, telling his story for the first time as he recovers in the hospital. It was our typical morning and, um, you know, we ate breakfast together. Reyes says May 24th started like any other day, except the students were celebrating. It was going to be a good day because it was going to be our day of awards. While some students went home after the ceremony, 11 from his class stayed behind. They were watching a movie when all of a sudden gunfire rang out. The kids started asking out loud, uh, Mr. Reyes, what is going on? And I said, I don't know what's going on, um, but let's go ahead and get under the table, uh, get under the table and act like you're asleep. Um, as they were doing that and I was gathering them under the table and told them to act like they were going to sleep is about the time when I turned around and saw him standing there. Reyes shot twice, a bullet hitting him in the arm and lung and a separate one striking his back. The 17 year teaching veteran hitting the ground. I told my kids to act like I'm there asleep, so I'm going to act like I'm asleep also. While the horror was unfolding, parents outside begging for police to save their children. You know that there are kids, right? They're little kids. They don't know how to defend themselves. Did you feel abandoned in that moment by police, by the people who are supposed to protect you? Absolutely. After everything, I get more angry because you have a bulletproof vest. I had nothing. <laughs> So the shooter killed every single student in your classroom. Yes, ma'am. That's when I got to thinking, you know, this family lost one. This family lost one. I lost 11 that day. I just went to my parents and said, I'm sorry. I tried my best. Please don't be angry with me. Reyes says no training could have prepared them for this. Even though the school had extensive protocols, he says laws have to change. We trained our kids to sit under the table. And that's what I thought of, you know, at the time. But we set them up to be like ducks. You can give us all the training you want, but it's... Uh, Gun laws have to change. He's making it his mission to honor the lives lost. I will not let these children and my coworkers die in vain. He wants gun laws to change. He wants the age that is required to purchase a gun to be risen beyond 18. You know, the shooter was 18 years old, a few days past his birthday, bought not one but two AR-15s, one of which was used in that mass shooting, and you can feel his pain and his mm -hmm. anger. I want to point out, too, he's in back surgery today. He's had several surgeries already. He is a long road to physical recovery, but the emotional recovery, he says, and understandably so, he is scarred for life. He said he can never teach. He can never walk into a classroom again. That guilt he feels for being the only one who survived in that classroom. It is gut-wrenching, it is unthinkable, and our hearts and our prayers go out to him and what he's working through right now, having witnessed all of that. But he's saying, hey, look, we talk about the criticism police, I know an investigation is going on, but the teacher is apologizing to the parents yeah. for his responsibility not protecting, and that's not something the parents have heard from police yet. That is correct. And, and he very much said if they had come in, 
to that classroom, oh. when they came in three times in the hallway, they absolutely would have saved lives because that shooter was taking his time with multiple rounds of gunfire. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.